Creality has a brand new slice of software, a version 6 of Creality Print. Well, that is amazing. Well, let's find out together how to set up this slice of software for your very first Creality 3D printer. You can also use this slice of software for other brands as well. Well, let's dive right in. Hey, Zach here, and welcome to this video. We are going to dive in to Creality Print 6. If you are brand new to 3D printing and you bought your very first Creality 3D printer, you want to use a slicer software like Creality Print or maybe Creality Slicer. Well, in this case, I really recommend starting off with Creality Print and then finding your own way using maybe Orca Slicer, maybe Prusa Slicer or some other slicers to your need and what you want. Let's dive in Creality Print 6 and let's see what is new on the slicer and set it up for your very first 3D print coming off your build plate from your 3D printer. So this is Creality Print version 6.2. Two, if you want to download this slice of software yourself, I will put the link in the description where you can download it, install it, and then start using it. So the very first thing that you are going to do, I need to make a selection in order to start using Creality Print. The flagship series, everything from Creality is standing on top of it, of every other brand as well. So the Creality 3D printers are standing all the way on the top. Makes total sense. If you open this, you have some other brands as well, but I will show that a little bit later. So the flagship series, K1 and the K2 series, as you can see, I've got the Creality K1. So I'm going to make my selection here. I'm going to click on the K1. From the end of the series, which one do I have? I've got the KA, I've got the V3 Plus and the V3 V3 and the 5S1. The V3 SE is in here and also some other older models as well. The S1 Pro, the S1 Plus, the S1 and the Creality Ender 3. OG Creality Ender 3 is in there as well. And as you can see, the and the 5 Max, it seems to be that this is the latest version that is going to come out any soon. We have also the CR series. So if you are going to buy the Creality High, uh, probably the CFS is going to be included as well. Then you have to select this one. So for the purpose of this video, I'm going to select that one as well. And then we have the Ceremon series D3 Pro with others. Well, we have a lot of 3D printer brands to choose from. Even Construct 3D is in here. So we are going to click on confirm. So in the background, every printer that you have selected is going to be added to this slicer. Here on the top left corner, you are going to find current device, the CRK1. So well, seeing the build plate, seeing also the text here, the Creality V3KA. So it's, it's one of the printers that I have selected. And then the nozzle 0.4 millimeters. Everything that I have selected is in here. The V3 Plus, the Creality High 0.4 nozzle. I'm going to go for a standard 3D printer, the KA, bed type, if you click on it, you have a textured PI sheet, a customized plate and an epoxy resin plate. Now, what is this epoxy resin plate? You might ask, for example, if you have the Creality K1, it comes standard with epoxy resin plate. It's a very nice smooth build plate on, however, the KA, it's a textured PEI plate. So always make sure that if you are going to slice your model, that it is on the right printer with the right build plate. Always check that that is aligned or else you will end up in my comment section saying, like, but why is it not sticking to the build plate? Always make sure to double check wh which kind of build plate you have selected for this printer. First things first, we have here this add button. So if you click on it, it will open a little dialogue screen and you click on the model that you want to print and you click on open and there you go you have added your first model to the build plate removing it click on it and then press delete and it is gone you can also uh, uh, remove it by clicking right mouse button and then click here on delete and it is gone as well so then we have here this this is adding a new plate if you click on it a second plate will appear and it will select the second build plate so if you are printing some bigger projects with multiple parts and it doesn't fit on one build plate then you are going to add a second build plate and continue your project on the next plate we are not going to use this one we are going to delete that plate we are clicking here remove and then we have that if you click on the house here angle reset and we are back how the build plate originally was. This is, by the way, a desk fidget toy. Very cool. It's very addictive to put one, put a finger inside of one of those holes and then start twisting 
with it and you have a lot of fun. Uh, maybe it sounds weird, but I don't care. If we are selecting the model, everything would be available to click on. One of the things is move. If you click on move, you can move it in any direction you want. If you want to reset, we are going to center. Default. Whoop. Just like that. You can also click on the rotate button. So if you want to flip it on the other side, you can do it like that or twist it. You are going to do it like that or even doing like this. If you were paying attention, you see that you have these kind of lines the inner ones you can also go further on the edge and then you can be more precise as you want then we have lay flat on face it's a standard feature if you select it all faces are going to be white so if you click on one of those faces then it is going to flip that side on the build plate so you saw me rotating so this is the right mouse button i can twist it i can pan it i can rotate it however i want to if i want to go back i click on the house and everything is back left mouse button you can make selections like this the scroll wheel is zooming in and out uh, then we have scaling you can make it smaller and bigger usually if if i'm going to make things bigger or smaller depending on the build volume of a 3d printer i usually play with the percentage that's all the way in the top so instead of 100 percent, i say like okay i want to go for 80 percent, and everything is uniform scaled can happen that sometimes you just want to fine tune it a little bit more a little bit wider maybe a little bit higher then you unselect this one and only play with the number that you want to do if you want to reset it just click on the reset button then we have here cut you can cut here can split a model into two parts perform cut and then we have something like this and then we see something like this there's also something called a measuring tool and this is this can be very useful if you want to know for example uh, all the radius is like eight millimeter from midpoint to to the edge so if you deselect it nothing is visible anymore supports this actually is a model that doesn't require any any supports because i have designed it that way so don't you don't need that but in case you would need it there are some ways in order to use the supports then we have the scene painting still a feature in there looks cool looks amazing variable layer height you see also the indication especially if you have some some rounded edges you want to make sure to play a little bit with the with the variable layer height in order to get some amazing print results out of it so this represents the 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 layer of the models and as you can see here you see that everything that is yellow on the right side will reflect how it will look like then you can also use some text this will be embossed text you can join you can cut you can really see what it is going to do if you click on it this will be text that is which you can feel with what would stick out of the model you can also uh, click on cut and then this will be here i can you know go over it like that just move it like that and if you're happy with the text you will uh you, you you will do the thing that you need to do just for example subscribe and i'm happy with this i click here and then this will be a cut out if i'm going to slice it then on the right hand side we can select here some filaments add or remove filaments which kind of filaments are in here you have the generic ones and you have the creality ones no other brand in there hmm sad so if you are going to put in your own custom fil filament there is a video that i have made before for creality print 5 i suggest to watch that video in order to add your own branded filament and then we have here further the processes global and objects so objects bed type by layer and the cool feature that i do like on creality print it shows you exactly in the right hand corner what you can expect from the function on the right hand side layer height is 0.2 first layer height is 0.2 scene position is aligned so meaning you will get a straight line somewhere on your model precise wall if you click on it yeah here it doesn't say anything what it does only one wall on top surface i don't know why you want to have that there must be a reason for that so here we have some icons so we were looking at quality so now we are going to strength two walls top shelves bottom both are four so meaning four layers before it's going to continue with the infill and the walls and just like mentioned you can hover over it and see in the right hand corner what it is going to do infill here you have all icons how it will look like then we have here support if you don't have 
enable support selected no supports will be printed so if you have a failed print because you thought you have you know paint on support but nothing is showing there you need to find it selected you can choose from tree support normal support both are auto or both are manual depending on how you want to have it style grid snug fit you have so many possibilities when it is going to start a at which angle the support is going to be printed and on the build plate only means that it's not going to be printed everywhere but only where the model is over the build plate meaning then the support will be printed on the build plate and then touching the model directly filament for supports you can do this if you are using a, the cfs or a multi filament unit then the prime tower it's not enabled in my case i don't have a multicolor option on this 3d printer so i don't need to select that and then we have some others so skirt i always like to use or skirt or brim and as we are going to go for something very unique something never seen before i'm going to put a model on the build plate so i'm going to print a watcher from horizon zero dawn this model contains out of multiple parts and all are you know assembled right together like this it doesn't seem to be a model but trust me it is a model so what i'm going to do everything is selected and i'm going to click on auto and let's see what it does well everything is being stacked like that so we don't want to have that we are going to select all and then we are saying arrange all objects arrange and everything is like this place nice on the build plate i used to take a it, it used to take a lot of time to do this manually but nowadays it's so much easier to do and let's go and slice it so and this is how it looks like everything is looking nice once that is done we uh, can send it to the printer 